Welcome to the Public Art Project at Ryan Park in Rancho Palos Verdes. We hope you enjoy it. This was created with the help of over 65 volunteers. Our story begins when I started a new job working for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Working for Parks and Recreation, I was in an office with a beautiful view and a side patio overlooking the Pacific Ocean. The patio was surrounded by a low cinder block wall and an underutilized planter bed. While doing my job, I also started to conceive of ideas to improve the park with a mural on the patio cinder block wall. The city of Rancho Palos Verdes is home to one of the most endangered butterflies on earth. Knowing this would be an excellent subject for public awareness and a public art project, I put together sample images and a budget. My budget and design was presented to the city council and approved. Working at the park, I met a lot of its patrons. One park patron was the daughter of the councilman who the park was named after. With her personal connections to the community, we put together a core group of volunteers to work on the mural. Our core group of volunteers were children 8 to 15. We also ended up with volunteers from Rolling Hills Prep School, City Hall, and my family. On our organized volunteer work days, we had anywhere from 8 to 20 people. In the first step of the project, we had children cleaning the wall and painting it white. The next volunteer day was actually after dark in the evening. Once again, this painting session was mostly children brought to the park by their parents. With the projection of an outline, the kids drew the Rancho Palos Verdes Blue Butterfly and the California Coastline. It was a fun evening for the kids and their parents to be out in the park after dark. After that, the kids came back another day and threw paint at the wall to create a rainbow effect. By the end of that two-hour session, there was probably as much paint on the kids as on the wall. The main reason for the colored wash was to knock down the brightness of the white paint but still keep the wall vibrant. The next time the volunteers met at the park, it was to block in the shapes drawn on the wall. Blocking in this case, we used the complement to the finished colors but maintained the same values. An example of that is the blue butterfly will first be painted orange. In the end, flecks of the blocking color will be seen throughout the finished painting. This will help the painting feel more vibrant. Blocking and the finished painting were worked on by a variety of volunteers from all ages. We had volunteers from the local community, Rolling Hills Prep School, and even City Hall. By the time COVID struck, we were well into the finished painting. At that point, the volunteers could not gather at the park and work on the painting, so I had to go it alone. Over a series of painting sessions, I added more and more brush strokes, but at the same time tried not to cover up what the volunteers had done. Every volunteer that added brush strokes to the painting can come back and still see the handiwork that they helped create. Every day that I have a shift managing Ryan Park, I see people posing in front of the butterfly to make it look like they have wings. On a low sidewall next to the mural, we placed all the names of the volunteers that helped create the painting. On one more section of wall overlooking the patio, we wrote the words, If I were a butterfly, I would, and asked kids to write in and complete the sentence. We had a variety of nice responses and added some of them to the wall with their names. In front of the volunteer wall is a planter bed where we've added the two native plants that the Rancho Palos Verdes Blue Butterfly lives on. My personal hope in designing this mural was to increase our awareness of the need for conservation. During the days that I'm managing Ryan Park, I often have an opportunity to talk to the park patrons about the mural, the volunteers, and the plight of the blue butterfly. The Ryan Park office overlooks the patio where I often see park patrons posing for photos in front of our mural. 
Whether I speak to them or not, hopefully the entertainment of the mural will spark their interest in our natural environment. And for all the volunteers, I hope they have the opportunity to come back time and time again and remember the wonderful days they had when they got to create a piece of public art. <laughs>